smell what the rock is cooking. I don't know what you're cooking, but I'm on the verge of the biggest zilla of my life. Why do you call it a zilla? Well, I'm pretty sure that's what you call a big pile of- Awesome! What? Oh, come on, you guys are no fun. Guess I'll go back to my side of the shelf now. Also, Rock, I really like Jumanji. Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today I'll be going over the Lantern Rampage figures with the big city brawl uh, versions of the characters. With Lizzie, Ralph, and George. Steve, aren't you missing a few of them? Um, funny thing, I actually could have got the big George. I didn't really like it though. So I decided to pass on it. Sadly, like the rock figure that comes with it actually looked better than George, I think. <laughs> I actually thought the rock figure wasn't that bad <laughs> for what it was. Uh, but I did, also, I just don't really see why you'd really want it. Because there's not a Lizzie or a Ralph to go along with it. To scale with them. Yeah, to scale. And like this set, I feel like for collectors, is probably the best you're going to do out of this line. Because the smaller ones are kind of weird size and really small in comparison to the people. But they come with more stuff. So that's like arguable size arguable well this is like i feel perfect size because you get like a decent size lizzie ralph goes pretty well on scale same with george looks really nice next to each other and for 15 bucks can't really complain so this is to me the ideal sets to be picking up especially if you can find all three of them at once i'm gonna buy the smaller set because the smaller set comes with rock too so yep yeah, uh, you can get the rock figure with the smaller set too so i might grab them as well probably won't do a video for that one because, again, this is mainly, I feel, the best sets for collectors. While the other ones are definitely more geared towards kids. Granted, all these are meant for kids, but those ones in particular. Steve. Steve. Yeah? Ralph has jaw-chomping action. They, so does Lizzie. He actually has it, too, I think. And then he also has arm smashing action. So I'm excited. Especially since, like, the con figures didn't really have gimmicks. I know. So this will be actually pretty cool, I think, to see how they improved on those ones. Plus, they're like in the packaging, like I don't really want to open them. No, they look pretty cool. <laughs> they look they're pretty the cool. They, they have like a nice window packaging on the front. You have like destroyed car next to him. Lizzie's is probably the most boring looking one, but it's Lizzie, so it's still cool. But for the rest of the packagings, you have on the sides there, you got. George, Ralph, Lizzie. I'll actually just grab one because I think the backs are mostly the same for each of these guys. Nope, never mind. They're different. Uh, guess we'll show each of the backs. But you can see the figures nicely inside of the packaging. Shows a little, or tells you about the gimmick right there on the side. On the front, you get to see that nice little snaggle tooth. Opposite side, get some Ralph booty action. <laughs> was just a bunch Chomp of attack there. action, if you know what I'm saying. Big City Brawl Genetic Containment Division. On the back, it just gives you a little bit of a description. Uh, I'm reading it real quick. It sounds and like it's just moves. telling you what the, pretty much the movie's about right here. So if you guys want to read it real quick, I will let you. And yeah, uh, the tail moves. Got some spike tail attack action. And he's ready to destroy. For George, just tells you about his jaw chomping action, arm smash attack. Again, ready to destroy. And for Ralph, can chomp the bus, jaw chopping action, posable legs. Posable legs. <laughs> and still ready to destroy. So let's get them open up out of their cardboard prisons. All right, so first we're gonna start with George here and then we will do Ralph and Lizzie as the finale because I feel like that's the one that most people are probably the most excited about to see. Because we've seen a lot of George in the trailer. So we're just gonna start with him first. And actually we'll just start with his gray plastic barricade, which you guys might remember this from the one. Of, I forget which set had this. I think it was the skull crawler. Not skull crawler. Yeah, skull crawler that came with the barricade. I think one of them had. I'm kind of questioning myself now. I know it was either that one or the bamboo spider. Definitely not the flying bird pterodactyl thing. Why not? <laughs> because he doesn't need a fence, Steve. Well, because we didn't do the review for that one, I'm positive there wasn't a barricade when I did pictures. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so it comes with this. Like, it's definitely going to contain him. So, that's cool, I guess. Because 
can't have like a small broken building to blocking him or something that ties into the movie. But anyways, um, that could stop him. No, no. I, do, I this is kind of like a throwaway piece for me for this guy to be honest. Like I like having extra accessories, so I guess I can't really fully hundred percent complain. But this kind of still sucks. Uh, though I wish th flavor fail. He should have came with a rock figure. Like all yeah. three of them should could like all three Georges could have came with a rock figure. Wouldn't complain. But for some odd reason, the middle George doesn't come with one. Small George and Big George have one. This guy didn't have one. Because what he comes with is generic helicopter, man. Uh, but real quick, we'll go over the helicopter. Pretty good details. Like, it's not, it's not really that bad. It looks way too, like, f futuristic for me, though. To go for what you see in the movie. At least from what I see in the trailers. Because the trailers look fairly basic from what I've seen. Just lost the missile there. Yeah, those things are getting taped for sure. Uh, actually, I'm going to hot glue these. Because all these these just come off pretty super easy. Each of these little accessories do. Uh, the missiles especially. Like the rocket holders on the bottom stay in there pretty decently. But the missiles just like to pop off. Which I'm kind of used to with some Transformer figures. Especially my older ones kind of doing that. But yeah. <laughs> but... Like, in the trailer, you see the rock flying around a helicopter. So, it would have been kind of cool. If it was actually him in the helicopter. Yeah, him actually piloting it, I think, would have definitely been a little bit more appropriate. You guys understand that there's supposed to be missiles and pods on this, right? All right, cool. We're just going to take those off. <laughs> <laughs> but, Steve... I'm not dealing with them anymore. You get some tires on the back for when it needs to land. There's also what appears to be tires on the front. Uh, nothing spins, though. So, that's cool. Uh, the little propeller on the back here doesn't spin, but the top does. So, that's neat. Got a little 19 there. Some thrusters on the back. Little wings. And, like, overall, like, it's a cool-looking helicopter. Like, I'm not going to say this is bad-looking. It just doesn't quite fit the movie for me. I'm surprised the thing on the top actually spins. The propeller. Oh, God. You know how much of a fail that would be if that actually didn't spin? Like, I get why this one doesn't spin, but this kind of a necessity. It has to, pretty much. Yeah, but, again, should have came with the rock. Uh, it also, inside, is pretty basic. It does come with a handle for him to grab onto. And he can actually grab onto it. Yeah, and he can actually grab it, so that's cool. But, outside of that, there's nothing really else going on here. Plastic's translucent, so you can see him on the inside. But for generic helicopter man, he does have a scar on his face. Looks very upset at the world. Uh, one of his eyes is kind of very raptorish, though. It's like just a slash line of black there. So that's cool. Got his little helicopter helmet on with uh, his little goggles on top. You got his little tube for breathing. It's got a giant hole in his back for reasons. <laughs> I think that's from another line. Yeah, well, this is definitely like a corpse figure. It's just kind of like repurposed for this. Kind of like what they did with the Colin stuff. I can't imagine they haven't used this somewhere before. Kind of like the helicopter. I imagine, not 100%, but imagine it's from something from the corpse line. And then just moving the rest of the down, camo green pants, got some straps coming off the side of them, brown boots. And overall, like, the figure is like, eh, would have been better if it was The Rock. But what you guys are definitely here for is Georgie here, which, <laughs> for the figure, guy He's just tumbled. Shin. Yeah, it's like he decided that Shin Godzilla needs to not ever be in videos again. Uh, but... For George here, the face overall looks pretty decent. I uh, got some hair coming off the side of him. You got his teeth, which the jaw is actually articulated. Ton is a flesh color. So that's cool. They actually painted the inside of the mouth, which I'm actually slightly surprised. And the teeth are done in a bone coloring. Eyes, fairly piercing for what we have with the figure here. Uh, majority of his body's not quite albino. It's kind of like cream mixed with grays. But still looks pretty nice. Actually has a lot of muscle detail for the gorilla and some more hair on the back here. Arms. Not very articulated because the only real articulation up here. Well, actually that arm has no articulation. I feel like that should be articulated, but I see glue right there. 
I wouldn't pull it, dude. So, it feels like you would break it. Yeah, um, that's definitely not an articulated joint. Hand can't articulate either. Neither can the back of the legs. Um, so, this arm's all you got. We'll go over that gimmick in a minute. But for his stomach, same color as the rest of his body, but you get a lot of muscles. Like, holy crap, look at that six pack. He works. And he's got a belly button. <laughs> belly button. That is our proud moment. He has a belly button. Belly button and nipples. <laughs> he's anatom well, almost anatomically correct. Uh, but he's got some specs for some detailing on his pecs on the front of his chest. What is that? Is that like. I noticed that in a movie, too. I imagine it's just like part of the coloring for the character. I don't really, like. I don't think it has to do with anything like the contamination or anything. I think he just has that. It's kind of like his little gray patches on his fur or skin. I guess it'd be mainly skin right there. Uh, but for the biceps too, you got some veins. So that's cool. I feel like though, like this arm looks bigger than this one, doesn't it? Uh, you remember the episode of Family Guy when uh, Quagmire discovers internet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like the Rick and Morty episode where. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, okay, for this arm, there's actually a gimmick where if you crank it up, it'll stop about there. And he has smacking action. So that's actually kind of cool. And then you can rotate it outwards, too. So you can have him... Um, I don't know, like doing some weird sideways punch? I don't know. I don't actually get why that's articulated. Like, even working with the gimmick. I, I don't get it. It just it confused. Well, that's kind of cool, though, if you have... Well, okay, that's... A, I feel like he's trying to pour one for his homies. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so he has a punching gimmick. Uh, the mouth doesn't actually have a gimmick. It's just articulated. So that they, they call that a gimmick for this figure, which just seems odd. Um, but overall, still, like... It's not the worst thing. Uh, for me, it's probably the most boring of the three figures, though, in terms of, like, collecting purposes. But for kids, though, it being able to actually punch some other, like, people slash monsters is actually pretty neat. Yeah, at least he has And being able to bite to is cool. Yeah, it's just, like, some small articulation might have been appreciated. But the way they got him posed, you can't couldn't really articulate it if you wanted to. But having the other arm be able to move would have been a great improvement on the figure, at least. It would be appreciated. But then again, he also comes with probably the most stuff, because you get the helicopter. The helicopter, the guy, the fence. In the fence. So I see why he's set up like this for the price point. Especially compared to like the con stuff, he's still fairly... He's better. He's still better than the skull crawler they came with. I don't know about the bamboo spider. No, a bamboo spider. Bamboo was spider was the pretty best. a win. <laughs> but compared to the other two figures, for what I would say is almost the same kind of line, it's more closer to the smaller versions that we're getting. But yeah, uh, still for me, probably the least exciting out of the three. But I we'll, like him. He's just. He's a gorilla. I like him. Yeah. He but, could like stand on a shelf like that and it would not bug me. No, like again, for like collecting purposes, him just standing there, like he's already kind of posed how you want him. Yeah. So that's cool. For kids. Again, probably the least exciting out of the three still, but still has enough of a gimmick there where there's still some play value. Yeah, I like the gimmick on him. All right, next for Ralph, we're going to start with the bus. The odd-shaped mounted tire. Yeah, well, it's flat. That's it's a flat, flat tire. It's not flat. It's weird. It's a flat tire that's the entire bottom of the bus is flat. <laughs> True, but... I'm so confused. You got some silver paint here for the windows. It would be cool to actually no have a translucent. No wonder that bus crashed. Look at the window. How yeah, are you supposed to see out of that? Well, you see through that giant hole there. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah, you can see out the side, I'm too, because it's got the smasher. It's like room around town in this thing. Um, if anything, why is the mirror shaped like that? I don't, something happened. <laughs> There's something that we don't know what happened in this movie. So it's also like a fancy looking bus. Like I don't remember any of them having like sweet headlights like that on the front. Uh, but for the most part, it's just done in a very like baby blue metallic finish with what appears to be gray underneath. 
They give it a nice like scuffed up appearance. You got some slashes on the side of the bus. Some teeth marks were left from Ralph, I would imagine. What appears to be a seat. Appears to be. <laughs> well, you see like a seat cushion right there. I don't know how that works. Um, Because this part comes off. It doesn't hook into anything. So as soon as you tip it, that's going to pop out. And on the back side, you kind of see where the imprint is from the teeth, which is pretty cool too. And then you got some more metal framing there. But it might be nice to see some more seats throughout this section. What do you want them to glued on there? <laughs> well, that one's fused in with all the other metal. Might as well have the rest too. <laughs> it just looks weird, man. Yeah, it's odd looking, but still, as a display piece, this is actually kind of neat still. Like, I feel like I'm bashing on it a little hard, but like grabbing ralph actually grabbing the guy here too uh i gotta actually take the rubber bands off the guy still is he gonna stand sweet oh my god he stands by himself but you see like like display wise that's kind of cool like even if you have him like behind the bus. yeah you have him like behind the bus looks like he's shooting out that's neat looking yeah i guess i'll give you that at least like again for like display purposes not too bad plus you could have him like because what he's supposed to do is he's like bites down on it with his action <laughs> but good luck ever trying to get that to actually work for you which we'll get to the gimmick here eh, soon. can't bite there we go it's stressful i'm gonna bite him eventually there we go good to go collateral damage is real Rawr. all right so one thing i'm gonna recommend don't take the rubber bands off this guy because <laughs> He doesn't hold those pistols at all. So, yeah. Um, rubber bands. Definitely a must for this guy. Because, uh, like... Steve did a bad thing, took him out. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but, like, he just doesn't hold those. Granted, thankfully, if you buy the entire set, <laughs> you can use the guns for some other people. Um, But, yeah, uh, that's that actually kind of sucks. Like, that's actually the first legit thing that actually sucks. Like, some of the stuff is like, I understand, price point, I get it. Uh, but, yeah, if I was a kid, that would infuriate me. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so, Mr. Arnold Wannabe, you... No to self, you don't blow. take the rubber bands off. Uh, but his arms are articulated, no leg articulation. Like, easily the worst figure out of the bunch. But, Steve... He looks like Arnold. It's even got like some wave going on with his hair. I know. Like it's blowing in the wind. Like I want to like him. He's even got grenades on his chest. I know. He's ready for battle. But yeah, uh, then he's got like this weird little strap thing going on at the back. I feel like he should hook into something. You can actually, grabbing Ralph here, you can have him like hanging off his teeth. Ah, oh, there you go. Cool. There's a good use for that. Yeah, there we go. Aw. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, worst of the figures, for sure. Oh, you're a monster. He looks like Arnold. For Ralph, actually, has a decent amount of detailing on his face. I actually like the way they did his eyes. They actually turned out pretty nice. Got some bone coloring for the teeth. They painted the inside of his mouth a very dark red, like a almost a maroon the way they paint his nose though it looks like it kind of starts to fuse into his face though same with the top section of the nose kind of looks like it has like an added bone plate which is a little odd same and same with the side jaws too kind of hanging off pretty freakishly long uh to me it kind of looks like it's supposed to be a lot of fur on the side it's supposed to be and then his ears very huge pointed upward actually have some detailing on the inside of the ears too which is really cool if you guys could see it anyways. It's kind of dark. There we go. And then for going along the top section here, you have his spiky bone protrusions coming to his tail, which doesn't go that high, which kind of sucks. Uh, it does tuck in a little bit, though. And when I got him out of the box, too, I didn't even notice he had a tail because it kind of hid in between his legs. So the tail, I kind of wish maybe went a little bit higher or possibly had, like, a wire on the inside so you bendable. could bend it. Well, just don't do it a lot. It's bendable, but it goes right back. There's no wire or anything on the inside. Uh, Details for the sides, though. You can see his rib cage on the outside of his skin. Which makes him a starving wolf, right? Yeah, he's 
I'm definitely on the hungry side. You got a little bit of fur patch here. It looks like it stops though. Uh, but you do have some muscles showing on the undersection of his arms. And what appear to be scales on the sides of his legs. It's got a scaling pattern. A little bit of fur on the undersection of his tummy. Got some dew claws. Giant dew claws on the back of his legs. You can see him here too. It's got his normal little puppy paws, yo. Same with on the back here. Also want to point out, because we mentioned it in the unboxing, but he has some giant plastic marks. So we're pretty sure he's been neutered. Poor guy. I'm like 95% certain that this wolf has uh, definitely been to the vet. In pain. That's why he, it makes sense. That's why he's so mad. It's true. Right? But yeah, like detail-wise, once I fix his leg, not too bad. <laughs> he's very like thin, though, and lanky. Also a pretty light figure. Like they're, they're pretty much every one of these guys, there's not too much weight for it. Mainly Lizzie's the heavy one just because it's the biggest one. Uh, but for the gimmick, uh, what you can do here is you can pose the front of the legs. So these are actually articulated. The back legs though only move a little bit though. There's no extra articulation in the joints so that's a little bit depressing. Same with you can't rotate the feet at all on them so they just go back and forth. Which is the odd thing, like, and it's only the front ones, too. Yeah, I kind of wish, like, there's another hinge joint back here. But outside of that, again, I get it for the price point, but still a little odd choices. And then first gimmick, uh, what it says on the box is you're supposed to push it down, right? Yeah. And he opens his mouth. Problem is, mine does, like, the opposite. Because you push down, and I thought it would go back up. And I feel like there's supposed to be a spring that works in there. But maybe you just got the lucky one, Steve. Yeah, I feel like I got the lucky one. Mine, mine can talk. I can get mine <laughs> to talk real easy. But So you can move this up and down, and that's how his jaw works. Again, I feel like there's, the way the box explains it, there should be a spring. I would think. Which, if there is supposed to be a spring, I'm very sad now. But you guys let me know in the comment section if there is but for right now it feels like kind of like with uh george you have to kind of work the gimmick yourself for the mouth sad day and then before we get into lizzie the most important accessory we get generic army man number two with a calm on the side of his face hey don't make fun of him no yeah, he's got like some camo he's got a pistol holstered on the side some knee pads which the pistol, ironically, super useful because he doesn't actually come with the gun. <laughs> so uh, he's literally in the box just to be Lizzie fodder, which makes me kind of sad. <laughs> hey, yet again, don't make fun. Because like trying. the like the one that came with George gets a helicopter. The one that came with Ralph came with pistols. Granted, he can't hold them, but he came with pistols. Yeah. He has nothing. He has nothing to live for. So yeah. Um, this one, we, his name's going to be Dinner. <laughs> so well, Technically, it could be just for that purpose. You don't know, yeah, honestly. Yeah, because you're just going to have Lizzie here. Just, oh, yeah, look at that. This is how we're posing him. Ah, <laughs> oh, is that a bad idea? Well, that's what, like, what other use do you have for this guy outside of just... Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> for Lizzie. But, all right, moving on to Lizzie. Uh, for the details, uh, probably the coolest looking one out of the bunch. You know there'll be a comment down there below. That's what he's used for, you guys. He's supposed to help contain him, not get eaten. Uh, but a lot of very gnarly teeth on the side. He has tusk Which and some I like watch in the movie to find out weird what little is that gills. About. Well, this guy's came from the '90s. You just add like spikes and tusk and anything you could think of to a creature, makes it instantly cool, no. like spawn. No kidding, because those guys <laughs> do make it look cool. And look at him. He's got, like, a bunch of spikes on the back here. Like, he kind of reminds me of Angerus, if Angerus was a crocodile. Okay, look. Don't put Lizzie down like that, okay? She's way better monster than that monstrosity. Angerus is the cutest of the Godzilla creatures. Next to the little Godzilla. Steve, when you get free time, go go to Eye Doctor, please. No! It's, it's, it's just bad. I went there. They told me they couldn't help me. It's just better, Steve. Uh, but for the, uh, speaking of the spikes, I noticed that he's majority-wise green, but he has, like, red highlights on the spikes on it's his back. It's a girl, Steve, okay? 
2018. They all have highlights. Red highlights, purple, blue, whatever. I'm surprised one side is not shaved. No spikes at all. I'm pretty sure. You know this could be a girl. We don't even know. I don't actually know the sexes of uh, any of these monsters. I know. I think George is a boy. I'm assuming Ralph is too. Lizzie could be a girl name. That is a girl name. But if you consider it with lizards, it could be a guy. Too. Turns out to be a dude. Damn it! <laughs> pretty much. You were wrong. Because uh, you can see some of the red highlights here too on the scaling of his stomach. But detailing on the stomach looks pretty nice too. I like how they like conveyed the crocodile pretty nicely on the figure. And most part, like detail wise, I actually really like this guy for what they were trying to do. Like the paint job's not really all that bad. There's a little bit of like fading detail towards the head. And like parts here and there. Like, like you see on the tail here, some of the detail fades a little bit. He's got some spikes on the end of his tail. Very, Overall, he's not Very bad. ankylosaurus. Like detail wise, not bad. Like I even like how they did his eyes. Look really cool too. The inside of his mouth. Nice little flesh tone colors. Maroon just kind of like uh, what we have with Ralph. Feet look really gnarly too. I do like the action tail. They even got detail on the bottom of his feet. Yeah, and his tail, well, action tail as in it can wiggle. There is some assembly. You literally just pop it in. That's it. Pretty simple. Uh, no articulation where that gap is there. Legs can move forward and back but that's about it and for his mouth gimmick there's a button on the top section here and when you push it he opens his mouth and the gills move on the side I feel like one of the guys in the movie will get to feel that pain because that pain the tail looks just like a uh, gosh what are those things called like they use in ankylosaurus the, huh ankylosaurus yeah well, the problem is he's going to be like 50 feet tall or whatever. Like, he's going to probably be bigger than Lizzie or Ralph and George. For sure, right? Somebody's going to feel that tail, man. <laughs> Some vehicle's going to feel that tail. <laughs> That's what's going to happen there. So, like, the, the Muff gimmick's actually pretty cool. Like, overall, like, he's probably the funnest out of the three, I think. Um, biggest complaint I actually have outside of the dude not coming with guns is the top section of him is glued on and i know this because you can see the do. glue the access glue all over this figure which is the biggest eyesore ever like which it makes it sad too because it's got a lot of nice detailing but they went super crazy on that glue because even over here you can see where it's just spilled off and coming down and you can see it back here too, like right around his legs. There's a crap ton of glue there as well. Now, you could kind of argue maybe it's blood. <laughs> he could be bleeding. No, Steve, you just got bad luck with these things, man. Yeah, I just feel like they kind of just like with a hot glue gun and just slapped it on and called it a day. Because uh, that's what it appears. It, co it could have been done a lot cleaner. But again, for the price point. Quality control isn't going to be quite as big of an issue, I would imagine, for them. So it's kind of like you get what you get. Because, again, I feel like Ralph probably has a spring for his gimmick. But mine doesn't. So we're going off that. Eh, if you guys know any different, let us know. Yep. But right now, my money's on Lizzie. Still. Even with the hideous glue. At least I can... Chip it away, maybe? Maybe. I don't know, I'd have to mess around with that more. And for quick comparisons here, they are with some other Lannard figures with the Con Skull Island Mega Con, the 18-inch version, and the Skullcrawler. And here's some of the toys I played with back in my day with the Treadmaster 12-inch Mecha Godzilla and Space Godzilla. And here there are some NECA action figures with the Shin Godzilla and Lando Tachi from Pacific Rim. And here they are with some random Japanese action figures with the SH Monsters Godzilla 2001 and the Revolt Tech Mothra. So overall with the Lannard Rampage Big City Brawl figures of Ralph, Lizzie, and George, uh, for 15 bucks. Each, it's not bad. It's not bad, especially for kids. Like there's a there's a lot to go with uh, for each of the characters. Um, Lizzie's again, easily the coolest looking of the bunch. At least we got that in common. She's pretty good looking. Yeah, it's very good looking. Uh, George is probably the funnest set by itself. 
And Ralph is probably the best looking in the box. Uh, it definitely, like, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to buy all three of them because I don't think I need all three of them. But I will buy Lizzie for sure. I don't know what my other pick will be. Yeah, I feel like Lizzie's probably, especially for a lot of people on the channel, probably the most exciting one to get. And again, like, I love the detailing on it. If it wasn't for that glue pattern, which I imagine is pretty sporadic on each Lizzie. So you might get a better looking one than I do. So <laughs> it was the only one in our local Walmart. Steve took it. Yeah, I just took all three and called it a day. Uh, so I definitely recommend these for kids, especially if your kids in the giant monster movies. You can't really go wrong with this set. Yeah, because even if they do break it, it's fifteen dollars. And you don't really find kaiju figures that cheap generally. Yeah, because especially for like us collectors, like you're dealing with NECA, which is probably the cheapest thing I can think of. Which, yeah, it is which definitely. are still like twenty. 25 30. when they first come out and don't and aren't really like that fun to play with well these actually come with a bunch of stuff to play with collecting wise uh the big selling point is they're only 15 dollars. <laughs> so if you want versions of the characters it's pretty inexpensive to get into this line with these guys and are probably the best versions to be picking up i would imagine because i don't again i don't really like the big one I haven't seen the little guys, but scaling wise, I feel like these are probably where you want to be at. But you could also wait because I imagine maybe some other companies might put out figures of these guys. Maybe. I don't know. They didn't do it with uh, King Kong. Well, actually, X Plus. We're getting the X Plus Kong. Oh, can you imagine X Plus of her? That'd be or cool. It. That'd be cool. I don't know what it is yet. Yeah. So call it it. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting for, like, I wish they would, like, show if they're making an X plus skull crawler, because then I would 100% grab that Kong. 100%. Uh, Lizzie, on the other hand, maybe. Because then I have to get a George and Ralph, and I don't even know if I, like, like, like the movie's not even out yet, so I can't even merit if I really feel like I need to get more stuff. Yeah. But, especially with the movie not coming out yet, like, these are still easily a safe bet to pick up. And especially, again, for kids. You can't really do much better. And for you guys that made it to the end of this video, we still have a Gemmer giveaway going on for the NECA Alien United States Colonial Marines Access Arsenal set. So if you guys are interested in getting that set, uh, there's a link in the description below. Follow that, sign up for Gemmer, and join the Alien Club. And that's it. Get you put into the runnings for the giveaway. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up these Rampage figures, what's your favorite version of Rampage? Or is War of the Monsters? Just for more of your thing, please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of these guys on our Facebook. If you want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account with exclusive prints for the channel, also in the description. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe to become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.